All right, check this out. This is one of my new favorite features in InDesign. Let's say I'm a student working on this page and I want to share it with an editor or an advisor and have them look at it and give me some feedback on some things I need to fix. You can come up here now in InDesign and click on this share button right here. This brings up the option to choose share for review. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you got a couple different options. You can leave this as invite only and just send an email to people that you would like to, uh, to look at your page and give you feedback on it. Or you can also change it to public and you can just copy this link right here and you can text that or message them this link and ask them to look at it. So I'm going to just leave this on public and copy this by clicking on the little clipboard. I'm going to jump over to Google Chrome and this is what it would look like after putting that link in. And this is really cool. We can do lots of different things for editing here. I could come in here. I could grab the strike through text button and I could just cross this out right here. And if I needed to, uh, I could leave a comment and be like, uh, delete this. That's kind of unnecessary, but since it's a strike through, you can uh, draw a shape and come in here and be like, uh, you could draw that and you could leave a comment that says, zoom in on these faces and hit submit. And you can make all kinds of edits and comments with all these little buttons right here. Uh, highlight text, cross out text, replace text, draw a shape, all kinds of different options. And you get the option to leave comments on all of them, which is really, really cool. Now, let's go back to the page in InDesign and see what happens here. So I'm going to come back to InDesign, and we're going to close this. And then you should have a review button over here on the right-hand side. And you can see here are the two comments that I just made. They were made by me. And I can click on these, and it will show. See, I clicked on this right here, and it showed me this text is highlighted and saying delete this. And so I could come in and delete it or change it or do what needs to be done. So once I've... Uh, solve these problems once i fix these things i can just come up here and click on these little dots and i can say resolve and that shows that that uh, that error that thing that needed to be fixed has been fixed and we're good to go it's a really cool new feature and it allows us to edit and uh, give feedback on pages even if we don't have access to indesign